If you have kids, you know the never-ending struggle of getting the toys put away. Well, Helen Austin, organizing expert and owner of Organized by Helen, is here to help us get organized. And this is a problem that's uh, affecting many people that I'm sure that are watching right now. Especially after Christmas, too. Yeah. And you have all the influx of Accumulate toys. Accumulate stuff. Okay, so you brought in some cute bins. I did. But I want really quick, I want to suggest that um, instead of keeping all of your kids' toys out in their primary story, uh, storage area, um, that you consider keeping some back actually in a storage area. Mm -hmm. The reason being it causes choice overload. So just when they see all of their favorite toys in a room, you know, they can't make a decision on what to play with. And if they do make a decision, it also diminishes the joy of playing with that one thing because they could have played with all the others. So to prevent that, we create a toy library. So consider okay. storing some back in a separate room out of place and shifting them in and out. After birthdays or holidays, sometimes I put half the toys away, don't even take that's them out of it. the box, and then yep. they come out and they're like, it's like a new toy and exciting. See, you got it. Yeah. You already do yes. it. So that's yeah. really, really I helpful. That. It reduces that kind of stress and anxiety from too many choices. Mm -hmm. The other thing you want to think is, is it visible and is it easy to be returned back into its home? And to do that first, you want containers that you can see into. I love um, these that are so fun. Is it visible? Yeah, these are really cute Shark and mouth. really fun. Um, and then you can use good old fashioned containers like this. However, I caution against these because I'm not a fan of lids. So that is the, can it be easily returned? We want these to be open and fast so kids can, you know, one less step of our excuse that <laughs> things land back where they belong. Also back to the good old uh, over the door shoe organizer, um, little toys, uh, Barbie dolls, accessories. These are really great and you're visible and you well, can see I it, retrieve it. I never thought of that for Barbie right dolls back. and really great. figures. Yep. They're wonderful. And then also you want a label still. Now, not all your kids may be readers yet. So just use an image and then still put the word because then it's a learning opportunity for, you know, early reading skills. What um, is this thing that you brought? Okay, so a couple things that I like that ne don't necessarily have to do with that, but they're just really great tools. This is a swoop bag. Okay. And I can't show the full extent of it on this table, but it, un but it completely uncinches, and it can make like a play mat to where you can see everything that is inside oh, of it. And, and I like these around. for Legos because I'm not a fan of thinking you need to sort your Legos by color or be that specific because there are only a I've few children. I've tried to do that before and it yeah, never. You did it, right? Lasted. The I child did. rarely did. maintains it. Um, there are a random few kids that probably <laughs> could, but most don't. But this can be spread out. They can find what they want, and then it just closes right back up wow. it feels back up they even have a handle if you want to take it somewhere I love that. Um, just beware that this creates a long cord so it's meant for older oh, kids I see right. this as a strangulation Safety. hazard so this is really only for older kids that you have in the house thank so, you for reminding us about that yeah. strangulation, strangulation risk okay so what is this stuffed animals so um, I, like my um, youngest son is a lover of stuffed animals uh -huh. and I, I was too um, as a kiddo and so um, sometimes there's just one too many and you can't fit them in their bed because they have too many friends in the bed. <laughs> so um, this is really great. This is a bean bag cover and you don't you can wow. use any bean bag cover and just take out the contents or buy just an empty one and literally you can stuff all of their stuffed animals into and this it. This bean bag cover has a handle and too. It has, this is made for this one is made for toys. Oh, so that okay, you can gotcha. kind of port it, you know. And then all their toys have a oh, nice perfect. home. Perfect. Yeah and you could actually sit on it. You, this is totally comfortable and yeah. fun. Yeah just don't put any of the hard toys in there and you're like ah. That, that won't be pleasant. <laughs> and lastly, you know, your kids are, our kids are watching us, so we want to model good behavior. So, you know, if it's putting something back, you know, at the end of the day or that last 10 minutes, you know, model that good behavior. Okay, we need to be responsible and organized too. You always help us with that. <laughs> For more information and more from Helen, we'll have a link to Organized by Helen at kclive.tv later on today. We certainly appreciate all of your good advice and good tools. I like that one right there.